Hi, I'm Ian Gillam, Subject Officer here at WJC IDCAS for Computer Science. And I'm here today to tell you about our new GCSE Computer Science qualification that will be available for first teaching in England from September 2016. EDICAS is the new brand from WJEC and it provides off qual regulated qualifications for schools in England. The EDICAS brand is designed so that teachers can clearly differentiate between the qualifications that are offered in England and the qualifications that are offered in Wales. EDICAS qualifications are specifically designed for England and are regulated by off qual, whereas WJEC qualifications are designed for Wales and regulated by Qualifications Wales. So why choose EDICAS? Our philosophy is that the learner comes first, assessment is clear, and there are no tricks. High-quality assessment materials are designed by active teachers who understand the need for high-quality examination materials and teaching resources. They appreciate that there are a range of abilities and design assessments to cater for the full ability range encountered at GCSE. EDICAS has an established track record of producing high-quality professional development courses with excellent feedback from teachers. EDICAS qualifications are designed by teachers for teachers and concentrate on teaching, learning and assessment. EDICAS don't use call centres and personal and friendly support is available from subject experts that have taught the subjects that they are responsible for. Teachers are not only used in the design of assessment but are embedded in the development process of a qualification from day one and their experience and input ensures the qualifications are designed for teachers and students from the ground up. The qualification is structured so that there is clear and reliable assessment of all subject content defined by DFE with clear questions and unambiguous and transparent mark schemes. Questions are designed so that students can demonstrate what they know, what they understand and what they can do, be it applying concepts in a theoretical examination or applying these within programming environments or algorithms. The qualification has been designed so that the full ability range has been catered for with questions designed to accommodate lower ability students and to stretch higher ability students. The qualification has been designed so that there is a good balance between theoretical knowledge and application and practical knowledge and application, so that candidates have a range of opportunities and methods to demonstrate their knowledge, understanding and skills. In terms of support, the qualification is a team of very experienced examiners who are all teachers. As mentioned earlier, there is direct access to a subject expert via email or telephone. CPD is face-to-face, -face, which affords teachers the opportunity to engage with trainers. Finally, the course is complemented by extensive online resources, including a detailed teacher handbook and free set of notes and online material. The specification itself is divided into three components that are all designed to assess different aspects of a learner's knowledge, understanding and skill. Component 1 can be broadly described as the theory paper. This will assess the theoretical aspects of computer science and their application. For example, application of logical operations in truth tables, explaining how a worm infects a computer, or conversion of bases. Component 2 is a practical on-screen exam, where candidates will have an opportunity to apply computational thinking and programming skills. This could include using simple markup language, correcting, designing and modifying algorithms, and actual programming using Java in the Greenfoot environment. Greenfoot is a multi-platform development environment available for free download. Component 3 is the control assessment task. This is a set task which requires candidates to design a program from the ground up and is divided into several sections which we'll discuss later. The structure of the qualification is similar to the existing GCSE qualification run by WJEC. This means that centres currently with WJEC will benefit from a smooth transition to the new specification. Equally, new centres will be reassured that EDICAS is experienced in delivering a qualification with a similar structure to the reformed qualification. The contribution of each component towards the qualification is as follows. Component 1 is a written examination of 1 hour 45 minutes in duration. It contributes 50% towards the overall qualification and is answered in a traditional style examination booklet. Component 2 is an on-screen examination of 2 hours in duration. It contributes 30% towards the overall qualification and is answered on screen in an electronic answer booklet. Component 3 is non-exam assessment, more commonly known as a control test. Candidates will have 20 hours to complete the control assessment task. This task contributes 20% towards the overall qualification. 
the 20 hour duration and 20% contribution are the highest values that are permitted for GCSE computer science qualifications under off-call regulations. The qualification has been designed to comply with off-call's assessment objective requirements. These assessment objectives, or AOs, AO1, 2 and 3, are intended to ensure that a qualification provides a balanced assessment. AO1 requires candidates to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of the key concepts and principles of computer science. AO2 requires candidates to apply knowledge and understanding of the key concepts and principles of computer science. And AO3 requires candidates to analyse problems in computational terms, to make recent judgments and to design, program, evaluate and refine solutions. So now let's look at the components in a little more detail. As mentioned earlier, Component 1 looks at the theoretical aspects of computer science and principally assesses knowledge, understanding and their application, which are mapped to assessment objectives AO1 and AO2. This component will investigate a variety of concepts including hardware, logical operations, communication, organisation and structure of data, operating systems, principles of programming, software engineering, program construction, security and data management and ethical, legal and environmental impacts of computer science. As mentioned earlier, this component has 100 marks, contributes 50% towards the overall qualification and is a traditional paper-based examination. Component 2 differs from Component 1 in a number of ways. Firstly, Component 2 is a more practical component and this is reflected in the balance of assessment objectives seen in this component, with the majority of assessment objectives being AO2 and AO3, which is the application of knowledge and understanding and designing, programming and evaluating solutions. There is only a limited amount of AO1 in this component. The topics seen in this component reflect the assessment objectives and the concepts of problem solving, algorithms and programming constructs, programming languages, data structures and types, and security and authentication are included in this component. There is an overlap here between some topics seen in component one, for example, data structures. But in component two, these overlapping concepts will be assessed from a programming standpoint rather than a theoretical one. This component includes the requirement to program in the Greenfoot environment, as I mentioned earlier. This part of the qualification has been included as it has proven very popular with our existing qualification and feedback indicates that learners relish the opportunity to program live in an examination. Component 3 is non-exam assessment or a control task. The topic for the control task will be supplied annually by WJEC EDICAS and it will comprise a single task. The task is divided into analysing the scope of a problem, design, software development, testing and further development. The majority of this component is assessed via Assessment Objective 3, as this is the design, program and test objective of the qualification. This task has a refinement log that should be completed by learners throughout the task. Software development here is divided into the effectiveness of a solution and technical quality. This is a significant change from previous qualifications where software development assessed both the effectiveness and the technical quality together. Testing has been divided into devising a test strategy and actual testing. The design of the test strategy is the only part of this component that is not Assessment Objective 3 and instead is Assessment Objective 2. The refinement log mentioned earlier combines with the final further development section and together these replace the traditional evaluation section. The qualification has been designed so that the components have the proportions of the assessment objectives that can be seen in this table. Component 1 is comprised of AO1 and AO2 only, Component 2 of AO1, 2 and 3, and Component 3 of AO2 and 3 only. The overall qualification is comprised of AO1, 2 and 3 in the proportions of 30%, 40% and 30%. The sample assessment materials show the design of assessments of this qualification. Component 1 has clear and ambiguous questions that are designed to cater for the full range of abilities. The mark scheme is comprehensive and marks are clearly allocated to the correct responses. When more than one response is correct, these are included. Assessment objectives are clearly allocated against marks so that teachers and learners can see the AO that correlates with each mark. Component 2 is again designed with clear and unambiguous questions. Questions are designed to cater for the full ability range. For example, in the specimen material, 
we can see that the HTML question asks to identify tags before moving on to the higher order skill of correctly applying tags to format an HTML document. The mark scheme is clear and unambiguous, and assessment objectives are clearly shown. Where algorithms are assessed, they are assessed functionally. That is, they are marked correctly if they produce the required outcome. This acknowledges that there are multiple ways to solve problems algorithmically, and if a solution works, it is marked as correct. The same functional marking applies to the programming tasks. As can be seen in the specimen material, marks are awarded to outcomes, that is what the final program can do. This acknowledges that multiple methods can be used to provide a solution. For component 3, an unambiguous brief is provided, with the required outcomes clearly listed. The specification has clear guidance on administration, conditions of the control test, feedback control, and the use of help files and libraries. The main two changes from past control assessment is that the development of the solution section is divided into effectiveness of solution and technical quality. This is a departure from previous assessment methods, where these were assessed together as software development. This assessment methodology provides flexibility of assessment. It permits teachers to mark a task first on the functionality of the solution, where maximum marks may be gained even if inelegant code is used. The technical quality mark then gives scope to award credit separately for the elegance of programming. This is a departure from previous assessment where an elegant solution would not be given high marks if all functionality was not present, or an inelegant solution was not given high marks even if all functionality was present. When designing Component 3, the development team aimed to reimagine evaluation and to make it a relevant activity. Historically, evaluation has been a summative task, unpopular with students and teachers alike. Here, the refinement log acts as a log tracking formative evaluation throughout the task. At the end of the task, candidates are required to consider further developments that could be made. Together, these two sections replace the traditional evaluation section. EDICAS provides a full range of resources to accompany the qualification. The EDICAS website provides specifications, assessment material and the latest information regarding qualifications. The resources website provides a full range of free digital resources to accompany the course. A free textbook is currently being developed to accompany the course, and this will be available from the resources website. The secure website provides a range of resources including past papers, mark schemes, files, and the control task brief. These resources are not available on the public website. Online exam review and exam results analysis provides powerful results analysis and feedback tools to assist teachers and CPD is run in an annual cycle to review internal and external assessment. Places can be booked for these events via the EDICAS website. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions, my details are available on the EDICAS website. I look forward to hearing from you.